Okay, in this video, we'll, as promised, we will format the string. And I went and looked it up on the internet. It's pretty easy to do. So when we do the to string, we just put some stuff in here. So I want the month, the day, and the year, which separated by slashes. So let's save this, and then we'll run it again. I think it'll force us to log in. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, so you notice now we've got the date in here. As a date added and then display date, the user can come and pick it off the calendar. Okay, so let's uh, do this. I'm just going to add this same code to the um, add event page. So I'm actually just going to copy this and then we'll have to go through and name the text box. But let's go to add event in the VB code there. paste this and he should complain that he doesn't well he's not going to complain about it I'm sorry so let's go and find our date added box there's display date but see date added again is inside of bound bound control so we will come down here and convert it to a template And then go to the source and find that text box. Content, where's date added? I converted to a template, didn't I? Oh, it looks like I missed it. Okay, we'll try one more time here. the source. There it is, date added. And then in the insert template, this one again, I'm going to, oops, this one, to make it match. TXT, make it match our code, date, added. And then we just want to make sure that this is in the details view called details view one, because in our code, we look for details view one, find control, we want to call TXT data added. So this ought to work as well. Let's test this one out. And there we go. Add an event. It's got that in there. Okay, so uh, we're moving along nicely here, but it that takes care of the dates on all of our uh, on all of our uh, database interface pages.